Good afternoon and welcome to Last Call. I'm Lisa Marzilli, joined by engineer Alvaro Montalegre. First up, I just want to reiterate the top story on this afternoon's newscast. The GOP contrived law that had cut early voting days from eight down to uh, from 12 down to eight in Florida has been blocked in the five counties covered by the Voting Rights Act, including Hillsborough County. The judge said the law would make it more difficult for minorities to vote, and apparently the other 62 counties are free to disenfranchise at this point. Well, we are going to open up the phone lines in a few minutes. The number to call is 813-239-9663. You can also email us at dj at wmnf.org. Well, I don't have to tell you, in a little more than a week, thousands of people will be heading to the Tampa area to make their voices heard outside the Republican National Convention. Some estimates put the number as high as 15,000. Regardless of what that number is, one thing is for sure, many of them will need a place to crash and food to eat. While the folks at Occupy Tampa and Romneyville are readying their encampments for protesters, Food Not Bombs is busy planning how to feed as many of the protesters as possible. The group will hold its world gathering on Monday at Voice of Freedom Park, the current home of Occupy Tampa. Well, joining us in the studio to talk about this is activist Elizabeth Toms. In addition to working with Food Not Bombs, Toms has been involved with Occupy Tampa since its inception. And as if that wasn't enough to keep her busy, she's also entering her fourth year at USF as an anthropology major. Elizabeth Toms, welcome to Last Call. Well, uh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, for those folks who aren't familiar with Food Not Bombs, why don't you give us a little background on, on what, what you do? Um, well, we uh, share food um, in public areas with no restriction. Um, it doesn't matter who you are, you know, we'll share food with you. Um, and we do it to protest for poverty and the destruction of the environment, um, kind of along the idea that, you know, like we're spending so much money on, you know, war and weapons and bombs, you know, when we could be spending it on feeding people. Um, we protest, you know, the idea of like food waste and, um, yeah. Like what? Tell, tell me about food waste. Um, like, uh, you know, a lot of businesses, you know, have to throw away their food at the end of the day. So we go around, we make, we make rounds and make collections, you know, that would food that's perfectly fine that would normally be tossed out. Now, do you get hassled for what you do? Um, you know, we, we haven't been hassled, you know, since I've, we've been able to start doing it um, in December here, but Food Not Bombs has been criminalized worldwide in many cities over. Um, actually, Tampa Food Not Bombs has been dormant for several years um, until Joe Redner offered his uh, park uh, because several years ago, Food Not Bombs um, members were arrested uh, sharing food in a public park in so Orlando too. We heard about the arrests over there. Yes. yes. Right. So you're, you're you, this is ongoing right now in um, in Voice of Freedom Park. You're mm -hmm. doing feedings for you know, who are who are the people that come out? Are they just homeless people? Are they? Um, no. Um, we do every Saturday at 7 p.m. Uh, we host it before Occupy Tampa's general assemblies. So a lot of people who come to attend those general assemblies, uh, but also people who are passing by, you know, down the sidewalk, you know, it, some are homeless people, some aren't. You know, we, we, we try to be all inclusive. Great. So now you're having uh, your world gathering here on Monday at Voice of Freedom Park. Um, how um, was that chosen to coincide with the Republican National Convention, maybe? Yes, um, it starts Monday and it goes all the way till Sunday the 26th. It was chosen by Orlando Food Not Bombs, um, I think a little over a year ago, if I'm not mistaken. Um, they had like a big convergence there. And, you know, they were like, hey, let's put out a call for a world gathering. Um, you know, the Republican National Convention is going to be there, so it'll get everybody in the city getting to know each other, and so we can gear up to help feed the protesters. How many people are you expecting? You know, I, I get that question a lot. I bet you do. <laughs> and it's like, I can't expect, all I can expect is a lot, so we're just stockpiling as much as we can. Now, what kind of activities will go on at this, um, I was looking at kind of the, uh, the layout and it mm -hmm. looks like some great, great yeah. things will be going on besides just protesting. I mean, there's a lot of uh, learning mm -hmm. opportunities and uh, trainings. Go ahead. Yeah. Give um, us the rundown. Well, we've uh, 
partners with Tampa Free School on a lot of things. Um, we Why share, is that for people who don't know? Uh, Tampa Free School is just a group of people who get together say, hey, I'm going to teach this subject. Um, come on out, you know, it's for free, you know, learning, you, you just shouldn't have to pay to learn. Um, we share similar philosophies on a lot of things, so Absolutely. we thought it'd be a perfect partnership. Um, so yeah, we've got so much going on, um, say at our Kickstarter, you know, uh, we've got um, several speakers. We have Keith McHenry, co-founder of Food Not Bombs, oh, he'll great. be speaking, and um, Kathleen Kerwin with uh, Center for or Voices for Creative Nonviolence, and she'll be speaking about work she does with kids in Afghanistan. We'll have music, live music, um, several bands will be playing kickball, and of course there will be food, and um, several different organizations will be tabling, so you know you can learn about them. Excellent. Now, for um, people who don't know, where is Voice of Freedom Park? It's in West Tampa. It's located at 2101 West Main Street. Okay, and we should note that um, Joe Redner graciously gave uh, that park temporarily to occupy Tampa. Yep. But under some pressure, they uh, are going to have to vacate, when is it, Sept early September? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was originally uh, September 15th he came to deliver the eviction notice. Nobody was there because, you know, there, there aren't really too many people staying out there full time anymore. But um, at city council meeting um, yesterday, it's now September 4th, they're going to come in and say, hey, you've got to get out. If things don't meet code, then they'll schedule like a hearing in mm -hmm. so many days. Mm -hmm. But but you know, by then you'll be on your way to the Democratic <laughs> National Convention, right? You're not you're not just a one partisan uh, protest here. I mean, no, no. Um, personally, I would love to go to the DNC, but I have school to attend to. Darn. All right. Well, <laughs> but there that, will yeah, be lots of us. Yeah. Right. If you are just joining us on Last Call, our guest today is Elizabeth Tom. She's with the group Food Not Bombs. And we're talking about, or about to talk about the preparations underway to feed the mass of uh, protesters expected into our city, probably starting next week, um, and their world gathering. The phone number is 813-239-9663, or you can email us at dj at wmnf.org. Um, before we get too far into it, because um, sometimes we run out of time, uh, how can people help? What do you need, and how can people help, and where do you, would you like them to bring whatever they're going to help with? Well, we currently have a donation bin set up at Sacred Grounds Coffee House on Bush Boulevard. Mm -hmm. Right now, we need either reusable or disposable, whatever you can get to us, um, plates, bowls, uh, silverware. Um, we really need a lot of that, um, preferably no styrofoam. If you do donate. Earth friendly. Yes. Yeah. Um, like, we will recycle if it's plastic. but. Um, dish soap will be great. Um, Non-perishables, you know, vegan or vegetarian. Um, we have a pretty or a very strict no meat policy. Um, so just food and serving ware and dish soap and you know just trying to gear up with that. And I read you've already started to collect a, a whole bunch of food and mm -hmm. um, you're storing it where you're at, you're at your house and yeah, <laughs> yeah, um, my house and several other people's houses. Um, Cincinnati Food Not Bombs is great. They shipped us tons of rice and beans and canola oil. And I hear San Francisco wants to ship us a lot of cheese. So, so <laughs> we're also looking up. for a deep there freezer. There you go. There yeah. you go. So she's got a call out for a deep freezer or any kind of refrigeration, I would imagine, uh, will come in handy. Yep. So you're all good. this is going to emanate from the park. And yes. um, it, so all the cooking is going to be done there. But then, no. No, no. Um, well, we... Um, we will have a food truck there, um, from my okay. understanding. But you know, we've been asking a lot of different organizations, churches, and stuff if we can have a kitchen, and you know, a big one where lots of people can come to. But that hasn't worked out. So we'll just be sending small teams to different people's homes, okay. um, and we'll have a food truck. Hopefully, you know, with, we had a big charcoal grill at the park, but that disappeared. Someone took that. So you know. If we get another charcoal grill out there, we can okay, do that we'll put a call out for that, right? Yeah. And and again, if so, if somebody has a kitchen they want to offer, right? Um, yep. Yeah. How, yeah. How do they? What's a good way to get a hold of you or, or uh, the food not bombs or? Well, there's um, there's our uh, email address, which is Tampa F N B at gmail .com, or you can find us on Facebook underneath Tampa Food Not Bombs. Okay. So the number again, 813-239-9663 to join this conversation, to ask questions, to offer help. 
so we already went over, you, you're not really expecting, um, you're, well, you're expecting a lot of people. Yeah. Tell me uh, where the food is coming from that's being donated. Are, are, um, are organization businesses yeah. in on this? Um, businesses, restaurants. Um, okay. I mean, like, since Food Not Bombs has been so criminalized, and even by the FBI, I, I don't want to say like, okay. necessarily that's businesses' cool. names and then get them into... I anything. totally appreciate it, yeah. but there is, there is uh, businesses that are... Mm -hmm. um, that's great. Uh, so I read that you are going to provide, or are providing right now, two meals, like a brunch, mm -hmm. and then uh, um, tell us about that. Yeah, like. um, I forget. It's, I forget what time it is. <laughs> it's probably like ten thirty or like mm -hmm. eleven each day. We're going to serve brunch for, um, during the World Gathering from Voice of Freedom Park, and then before our assemblies each night, we'll be doing dinner as well. Okay. Um, and that's just it's not just for people who are attending the gathering. You know, we see people walking down the sidewalk, we'll invite right. them in. Yeah. 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 Now, yeah, some control. of the logistics, I mean, it's got to be hard to, yeah, no, um, there's a lot of restrictions. Once you, no, you no, might no, point no, out no, that no, Voice no, of Freedom no, Park no, is not in the event zone. Uh, but once you yes, what is your want name? To take that where are you calling into from? The event zone. Mm -hmm. Maybe ch I heard that you wanted to carry possibly tables in yeah. to feed oh. the protesters. That that's okay, going to be challenging. What, what kind wait, of things? Yeah, are yeah, we're going to have you in the air in just a second. Um, okay. I know, like liquids yeah, okay. so, are banned. So I know, you know, which is crazy to me since you know we're okay, so great. hot and humid. What is your name? People out of state, like okay. What is your name again? You know, like. They can't find a water Mark, station in town. Yeah, right. And, 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 and I did from just to the, the city has said they're okay, supplying thank you. We'll have you a lot minute. of water. They're supplying uh, portalettes yes. and things. But um, you know, who knows? And yeah. Sometimes that stuff doesn't make it to the people that need it. Exactly. You know, if, if you're in the middle of a march, you know, in the middle of a really thick crowd, like I think the, the first the march on the first day is going to be huge. Like you know, you might not be able to make it to that in time. So I, I, I see. It's much easier to have like a bottle on your person. Right. Um, if we've got stews or something, who, who knows? You know, we're we're gonna try. Um, if that doesn't work, you know, we'll just set up right outside the event zone and you know come up with something on the fly. Yeah. And now on the um, the food not bombs the gathering page, it, it says um, that Tampa Mayor Buck, Bob Buckhorn has announced that he would do all he can to stop the protest and disrupt the effort to provide food. Do you, how much uh, How much do you know about that? Um, I mean, there's not really much more, you know, I can say about that except thanks a lot, Buckhorn. I mean, <laughs> you know. Now, I did want to play because right on Mary Mulhorn, Ma uh, Mary Mulhorn um, at the council meeting yesterday, you know, there was a lot of, uh, Frank Reddick was try mm -hmm. seemed to be trying to stir up some fear, you know, saying that you know, three to five thousand people were going to descend on this tiny little park, and you know, and yeah. get people concerned. Now that is that park is in his district, so mm -hmm. he has you know some concerns. People there are concerned, but um, from what you're laying out, there's there's no there's not much you know mm -hmm. to be afraid of. Put it this way: that people are going to eat and lay their heads down, and then they're going to be busy protesting at the the national convention. Yeah. But uh, Mary Mulhern did uh, speak up, suggesting that the city could better use some of that RN security money to buy water and portalettes for Voice of Freedom Park, mm -hmm. which is hosting the event. Let's hear, uh, let's hear that clip. Okay, take a breath. Security, which I think includes money for things like portalettes and water. Um, maybe we could find, if needed, a few portalettes to bring seconds. over to that park out of that convention money, have water there for people, and Ten. hopefully um, not prevent uh, people who are charitably bringing meals um, from. And again, that was Councilwoman Mary Mulhern at yesterday's city council meeting, speaking up for uh, humanitarian <laughs> aid to people that are coming into the city. Um, you know, kind of a voice of reason there. 813-239-9663 uh, to get in on last call. If you're just joining us, our guest is Elizabeth Toms, and she is with the group Food Not Bombs, and we're talking about the preparations to uh, feed the thousands of people coming into Tampa. And we do have uh, Mark on the air from Riverview. Mark, you're on last call. Hi, doing great.
That sounds great. <laughs> Thank you. That's great. Oh, it yes, is. sir. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for the call, Mark. All right. All right. We're writing that down. Thank you for calling in. Dobry Amanet, what is your Thank name? You. Where are you calling from? All right. Um, I want to ask you about, and I know it sounds Hello, silly, Dobry but are, are there going to be puppets? Because I've heard Hello. several things. Puppets are such a great protest tool, and, you know, they can be say more than words can say, but I've heard that they are not going to be allowed. Are you working on puppets? Um, well, I pers well, I personally haven't worked on puppets yet, um, but I know several people who are. Um, I have one friend who is working on a Mitt Romney puppet named Rit Romney <laughs> that will be debating a um, presidential candidate Vernon Supreme. Oh, that's great. And my friend Patches, who is also heavily involved with Food Not Bombs, is pretty much puppet man. <laughs> he is, he is like making a food army. You know, he's making masks. He's masks. I heard about that giant carrots and yeah. uh, all kinds of things. Carrot helicopter. Yeah. Um, and I'm not too worried about them not being allowed in the event zone. I mean, we will take a lot of stuff out to a Raytheon protest. Um, when is that? Tell the, people. Uh, when thurs the Thursday before the gathering. Um, they are a weapons manufacturer. So that's the, the not bombs part of food not bombs. Um, so we're teaming up with Code Pink and St. Pete for Peace to uh, go out there and, you know, tell them what we think. That's fantastic. And, you know, I mean, like, there's been a lot of discussion about not protesting within the event zone. Like, why should we be corralled, you know? Okay, you can spend all that money on all that security, you know, we'll Sorry, still protest. What is your name? Where are you calling from? All right, if you're just joining us, that's the voice of Elizabeth Tongs, okay, the number 813-239-9663. Okay. You're listening to Last Call. In just one minute. On Monday, Rob Lorai will be in here on Last Call from 5 to 6. All right, so let's see. I had a whole bunch of other questions here. Oh, tell us about, so you've got, like, you, we were talking about those uh, classes, and you've got uh, vegan cooking for 100, you've got non-violence uh, preparation workshops. We heard on this uh, newscast yesterday okay, about this name? group of genetics that, I don't know if they are, have they come to okay, a, a just a minute, okay. are they staying with you? Yep. Medics that are um, kind of undercover medics that are there to help people that are in distress and um, so tell us about some of the yeah. Some of the classes that you've got going on. Um, well, right now we have Atlanta Resistance Medics and Rose Hip um, Medical Collective. Um, Rose Hip is from Portland, Oregon. Nice. Um, I have one of them staying with me right now. More will be coming into town soon. Uh, we will be doing little brief uh, things like need to knows. Um, the medics, along with the NLG, will be doing those 6 p.m. the entire week beforehand at Voice of Freedom. And then. Um, I don't have the schedule with me right now. There's so much going on, it's hard to remember yeah, let me see when now. everything is. Workshop, the free school, Monday, Tuesday the 21st, workshops on conflict resolution, there's survival tactics. Yeah, there's going to be activist um, wellness training um, the weekend before the gathering, okay. which will be more comprehensive. It'll be just like how to stay healthy in the streets, how to stay hydrated, what foods are good to keep on you, um, et cetera. Um, we're also passing out pamphlets on chem chemical weapons defense. Um, you know, how to protect yourself from tear gas, you know, what to do once you have been tear gas, etc. Right, we heard yesterday that water is actually the best thing to, um, to uh, use if for pepper spray and then fresh air, if, if you can get any yeah. in the midst of being um, uh, tear gassed. Hopefully none of that will happen. I mean, you know, despite what, the, if you look online, the pictures are horrifying, the, you know, the people in full regalia coming to town and, you know, they're boarding up down.